joy for me to be here after three long years. With the inauguration of yet another edition of Kolkata's prestigious international film festival. The festival, ladies and gentlemen, has always celebrated the inclusive spirit of cinema beyond the confines of what Guruji Rabindranath Tagore called narrow domestic walls. Giving me my first job. I, I salute you, Kolkata, for giving Jaya her first film in Mohammedan directed by Sadhiji Drain. But most of all, I salute you for your artistic temperament that embraces the essence of plurality and equality. This is what makes Bengal so special. The pandemic, ladies and gentlemen, has indeed been ruthless. A gruesome situation we were unprepared to face. There was a sudden change in the status quo that altered the very dynamics of global economics, be it in the functioning of business or our film industry. So today we wonder what is in store for us in the future. Given all possible precautions, we can take heart from a checkered past in which despite pestilence, wars, changing social dogmas and political turmoil, film industries all over the world have always propagated courage and faced every challenge head on. Man, ladies and gentlemen, has always been a social animal. And the need to belong to a community and participate in a group of activities is a primal human need. Long before the advent of cinema, people turned to various forms of collective activity for entertainment, mainly centered around religious ceremonies and folk expressions. Beat the temple dances from South India and Manipur that gave birth to some of our major classical dance forms for the North Indian tradition of the Ram Lila and the Ras Lila that married mythology and theatre in their most accessible formats. The tradition of Kirtans and Kavalis were born in a place of worship by temples and temples to give communities a sense Practice. Cinema is a relatively newer phenomenon. Our first silent film, Raja Harishan, opened in the Olympia Theatre Bombay on the 21st of April 1930, merely a few years before the dual setbacks of the First World War and the advent of the dreaded Spanish flu. Earlier, the Russian flu often described as the first modern influenza pandemic erupted between 1889 and 1892 and is believed to have killed more than a million people. However, three years later, once the danger had subsided, the world's first ever public screening of 10 of Lumière Brothers short films took place in Paris. 